the framing of question tags. Now, some more important rules. Question tags for imperative sentences. If the given statement is an imperative sentence, the question tag will be as follows. Students, imperative we know is either a request or command or order. So if the statement is an order, the question tag will be, will you, example, give me food. Now students, when you read the sentence, you don't realize whether it's an order. Because if a son tells his mother, give me food, then it's not an order. But let us assume this is an order. Then what will you say? You will say, will you. Look at the next one. If the statement is a request, then the question tag will be, won't you. So please give me food. Of course, here students, please itself tells us it is a request. And therefore you will say, won't you. Next one. If the verb in the statement is in to be form, then use the same as an auxiliary. Let us understand this rule. If the verb in the sentence is a to be form, that is is, am, are or were, then you will use the same verb to form the question tag. Whether it is the main verb or it is the auxiliary verb, you don't bother about that. Use the same verb to form a question tag. Let's see here. He is a painter. Now, in this case, the verb is is alone. It is not an auxiliary verb, okay? Here it is the main verb. Yet, we are going to use it and create the question tag, isn't he? Now, look at the next sentence. He is painting. In this case, of course, is is an auxiliary verb because there are two verbs and the first one is auxiliary, that is is. Here also we are going to use the same tag, isn't he? So as I said, student, irrespective of the fact that the given to be verb is the main verb or the auxiliary verb, you will use the same to create a question tag. Next one, let's see. Some peculiar types. Now what do we mean by peculiar types? Some very different types of sentences. I am angry. Whenever there is an I am structure in the sentence, in the given statement, always the tag is going to be aren't I. Students remember, it is not amn't I, it is not ain't I, it is aren't I. Next one. Let us go to the beach. Now, let us, whenever the statement starts with let us, your question tag will be shall we. And then, there were many people on the road. Here, what is different? The subject is there. Whenever your subject is there, your subject pronoun will also be there. So you will say, weren't there. Okay? These are some important things that you have to remember when you create question tags. Now, everybody has learned the lesson. Now, everybody. Students, we are talking about each and every one. So actually, it is a collective thing. It is like a group of people. But then we use a singular verb here, has. Why? Because each one of them has learned the lesson. But when we create the tag, students, if the subject is everybody, somebody, nobody, someone, somebody, then the subject pronoun is going to be they. So you will say everybody has learned the lesson, haven't they. You will not say hasn't they, of course, and you can't say hasn't he or she because everybody, we don't know who all are they. Therefore, we say haven't they. So, these were some of the peculiar types of sentences. Now, students, let's go on to the exercise. With all that we have learned about a question tag, okay? Let's take the first one. The cactus has water. Now, if the auxiliary verb is present, then you use the same. But if it is absent as given there, you use do, does, did. Now, students, the cactus has water, single verb, no auxiliary, therefore we are going to use a, one of those, okay? Now, in this statement, there is no auxiliary verb, so we use doesn't. Now, why doesn't, okay? The statement is affirmative, so of course the tag is going to be negative. Next one, the statement is in present tense, so we will use either do or does. Now, the cactus do, do we say that? No, we say the cactus does, so we will use doesn't it, okay? Here, it, because it is cactus, so the subject pronoun is it. And remember the question mark, students. Next one. She taught me patiently. Now here, again the auxiliary verb is absent. 
Now, if it is absent, you use do or does in present tense and did in past tense. Students, in this statement, there is no auxiliary. We use didn't. Why do we use didn't? Because, of course, the statement is affirmative, so the question tag is going to be negative. Secondly, the statement is in past tense, so we are going to use did. But the negative of did is didn't, and, of course, the subject pronoun is going to remain the same, didn't she. Next one. I am startled by the images of myself in the ceiling's mirror. Students, remember, I am always takes the tag, aren't I? So here it's going to be, I am startled by the images of myself in the ceiling's mirror, aren't I? That is going to be your tag over here. The bee fowl is considered a divine creature. Now, students here, is considered okay here there is an auxiliary but it is a to be form so remember we said uh, the verb in the statement is to be form then use the same as auxiliary here we are going to use the same but of course we are going to make it negative so we will say isn't it so students this is how simple question tags are thank you